now we are going to find out the class of the ipv4 addresses so here we are having the different different examples which are given to us these are the four examples we know that the first two examples they belong to the dotted decimal notation so first of all we are going to take the table of the dotted decimal notation so here we are having the table of dotted decimal notation and we know that the range fall from 0 to 127 then afterward 128 to 191 then afterward 192 to 223 then 224 to 239 then it is from 240 to 255 so that is the range of our ipv4 classful addressing so starting from the first ip we know that we have to focus on only the first byte this one we should not focus on all other bytes so this first byte is important for us second third and fourth byte is not interesting for us now 23 23 is following the range from 0 to 127 because 23 is coming in between that range so here our first ip that belong to class a so we can say that the ip is belonging to class a now we are discussing the next example which is again the dotted decimal notation so here again we have to focus on the first byte 252 now this 252 is falling under the range of class e so here we know that this is the class e range so here we can say that this ip belong to class e now afterward the third and fourth example these are the examples of binary notation because we can see that the numbers are 0 1 0 1 so this is not the dotted decimal notation this is the binary notation so for this we should have the table of binary notation so here we are having the binary notation and if we talk about the classes then we know that the class a is having the start value which is 0 class b 1 0 class c 1 1 0 then class t triple one zero then class e one 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 so now we are having the range and now we have to find out where our ip addresses belong we know that we have to only focus on the first byte so here if we talk about the first byte now we have to start in this first byte where it is starting now here we are matching that it is one zero so 10 is matching here so this 10 is of class b so we can say that this ip address belong to the class b now talking about the next ip address we has to focus on the first byte in this first byte we has to match what entries are matching with the table so here we are having 110 so this 110 is matching here and this 110 belong to class C. So this IP belong to class C. So this is how we can find out the class of IPv4 addresses.